God bless, God bless everyone. This beautiful morning. Thursday, praise the Lord. This apostle is our example for passengers alike. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Praise the Lord. We have to pray for you, pray for the communities, pray for the families. We have to continue teaching the word of God, teaching the word of God, and inspiring people to continue seeking the Lord, being faithful to the Lord, nobody else. Amen. We have to proclaim the word of God. He's alive and well, that He's got each like, one's in our hands. He's controlling the future, not the devil. So, praise the Lord. God bless you, Sister Judy. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you. Bless you, bless you. Praise the Lord. So, praise the Lord. I'm going to have you first start to Julie. God bless. Pray. Open it on Zoom. I want you to open up. Pray for opening up the service. Man. Praise the Lord. God will bless the service. Man. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you and I glorify you this morning, oh, Father God. Thank you for another opportunity of life. Thank you for another opportunity to humble myself before your mighty presence. Thank you for another opportunity to come before your mighty presence. Thank you for, for giving me the strength, Lord, because your word says that you are our strength, Lord. There's a lot of people out there who need your strength, Lord. So, Father, I pray this morning that you give them the strength that they need, oh, Father God. In the name of Jesus Christ, and I bind every principality in darkness, oh Father God, that comes against them, against your spirit, against their being, oh Father God, against everything that they believe in, oh Father God, in the name of Jesus. I thank you this morning. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father. I am so grateful for what you have done, oh Father God. This is not about what you have given me. It's just, it's a privilege just being in your presence, Lord. And forgive us if we run away and we shy away and we think foolishly. Before the God in the name of Jesus, Lord. And Father, continue to give us the strength, Lord, to go forward, to keep on fighting, to keep on going forward, Lord, Father God. In Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 62, clearly my soul finally waits for God, for him comes my salvation. He is my rock, my salvation. He is my defense. I should not be great in fool. How long will you attack, attack man? You should be slammed all of you. Let, like a linen wall on a fluttering fence. They only consult to cast him down from his high position. They be lying, he lies. They bless with their mouth, but in with a full curses, in worth. My soul waits for any a guy alone. And my expectation is for him. He is my rock, my fault, my rock. Only my rock, my salvation, and my defense. I should not be moved. It's God my salvation, my glory, the rock of my strength. Refuge is in God. Yeah. Trust in no time, ye people. Pour your heart before him. God is refuge for us. Show your men a low degree of vanity. And men a high degree of all lie. Look at that. You see the difference? They're winning scales. They're all together higher than fighter. You're not trusting oppression. Vanity, hope, and power. The rich and Christ, do not say your hearts are torn from good. God has spoken once, twice. I heard this in the problems of God. Also, you, o Lord, I look for mercy for you made this. Lord, you have mercy for you. Each one of you according to his works. I said, God, you serve. You know, each one of us, he wants to bless us, but we got to seek him in spirit and truth, amen? But you know, each one of us, amen? When people do their own thing, they're going nowhere. They're going backwards. They're going straight back to Egypt, back to the things of the world, back to the devil's mouth, to the people of the world. You got to be set free. You got to continue working the freedom of the spirit. Stay from everything that's going to put you in bondage. You don't want that. So you got to stay in freedom of the spirit. Walk with the Lord, amen? Stay in the spirit, not in the flesh. I'm going to have BJP. I want you to pray. Be pray for those that are watching Zoom. They could be part of this gathering today. Praise the Lord. They could hear the word of God. They could get together and pray with us. Stay yes, Lord. Father, we, we, Father, bring, add to your church, Father. And when people hear this Zoom, Father God, all over the world, Father God, that they join to you, Father. Have you all come together as brother and sister you love? Have you all come together on one accord, Father? That's how the glory The glory fell on one twenty. It was all on one accord. Because you are God of unity, Father. You don't see color. You see, you don't even see flesh, Lord. You look at the heart. So, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. to reach the people. Father, Father, let this reach the people, Lord. Break every satanic yoke, Father God. Add to your church, Father. Add to the Zoom, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Show us ways and strategies to get this word out here. 
Amen. Sister Julie, I want you to pray pray for all the nations that could be part of this new one, man. It's up there. You know, Africans, the Indians, the Chinese, Spanish, whoever's up there, it could be part of the Zoom. Go ahead. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Zoom is connected to the whole entire internet, and it reaches many people, Lord. Father, I just pray that you begin to connect and bring back those that were connected to it. So, Father, I thank you, Father, that you bring us back, that you cast out your net, Lord Father God, and that you bring us back to the prayer meetings and to the Zoom, Lord Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, so that we may hear your word, Lord. Pretty soon you're going to lift off of us and go to Jerusalem. We're not going to be able to hear your voice anymore. We're not going to be able to be in your presence anymore because every Israel is going to have all the attention Lord. And we, we, we are your Gentiles, but pretty soon you're going to pay attention to your, to your people, which is Israel, Lord, Father God. Bless them in a mighty way today, Lord. Make everything in their hands prosperous, Lord. Everything they do, Lord. Every prayer they ask, they pray for, Lord, Father God. All their ministers and leaders. Father, I pray for the leaders and the ministers of the Zoom. I pray for the leaders and the ministers of each church, Lord Father God, that they may get aligned to you, Lord Father God, that they may understand that we are in the end times, Lord. It has been a struggle, Lord. It has been a struggle, Lord. But all things are possible through those who believe, Lord Father God. All things, Lord Father God. We are more than conquerors in Christ, Lord Father God. Father, I thank you for your strength this morning. I pray that you give each and every one of them your strength, Lord. Bring them to your feet. Bring them to your feet, Lord Father God. Bring them, bring them so that they may hear your word, Lord Father God. Let them connect, Lord Father God, to the Zoom, Lord Father God, so that they may hear you and listen and understand that only you are going to help us to get forward, are going to help us to reach the goal, which is get to heaven, oh Father God, to be in your presence forever. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Beautiful. Uh, I want you to pray for the souls. It could be one to Zoom. This could be one to deliver. They could be convicted. You know? They could convict the spirit, the heart. They need, to, they need God. They need to, but I got to even swipe. Right now, more than ever. We need to run the church now. Because the enemy is just having a feels that leading people away from the church, you know, being more busy in the things of the world and not in the things of God. So much things is going on. That's why Bishop was crying so loud last night. And I never heard her cry so loud, so deep spirit last night. That it made me run the church last night to get up under that anointing. Because Father, that is your heart. Heart, you want the souls you're crying for. Your... There are people that are suffering mentally. Jesus, name. there are people that are suffering within their bodies, but the enemy is taking advantage of them. Father, we need your help. No one is greater than you. We thank you, Father God, for taking us over the Continue to pick folks, Father. Send conviction. Send conviction to them. Send your words, send conviction, Father. 
mighty name. Save your people, Father God. Bring your people back to the church, Father God. Let it be a packed up church, Father. Because we all need you now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray you. Amen. This is Psalm 67. God be merciful to us and bless us. He puts a fish on upon us. May your will be known upon the earth. The salvation to all the nations. Let the people praise you, God. Help you praise you. But let the nations be glad and sing with joy. You sing, for you should judge the people righteously and govern the nations of the earth. Let the people praise you, God. Let the people praise you. Let the earth should be filled with your heart and increase it. God, our own God will bless us. And God, bless, and God will bless us. And only as the earth should know, to fear him. Wow, what up, Psalm? That's the song. That's the God we He wants to bless us. He wants to increase us. But we got to seek him the spirit of truth, amen? Uh, good morning, Sister Amanda. Good morning. Welcome to the uh, room, Amanda. Good morning. Uh, am I having an against Sister? Good morning. Good morning. Am I having an against Sister Julie? I want you to pray for the families, Julie. The God will heal our families and restore our families. Go ahead. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you and I glorify you this morning, Lord. I just praise you this morning, Lord. I praise you for my family, each member, each person, oh, Father God, from the east to the west and the south and the north and the northeast, oh, Father God, from every corner, oh, Father God. I pray that you come like a whirlwind, Lord, and that you bring them, Lord, that you bring them closer to your feet. I pray for their up, the their rising. Your word says that you know our rising and our laying down, Lord Father God. You know our thoughts and our minds and our hearts, Lord Father God. You know what we think about on a daily basis, Lord Father God. So Father, I pray for their thoughts. I pray for their mind. I pray for their understanding of your word, Lord Father God. I pray, Lord, that they may understand that you are coming soon, Father. And that this earth is going to get worse. The earth is crying out to you, Lord Father God. The earth is crying out to you, Lord. And they need to understand, Lord, that you are coming. You are coming soon, Lord Father God. Oh, Father, I just pray, Lord, that you give us the strength to continue to go forward. The enemy is trying so hard so hard to get us out of your way, Lord Father God, so that we may be lost. But Father, your word says that as long as if I abide in you, you will abide in me. That's what your word says. That's what your word tells me this day. I abide in you, and you will abide in me, Lord Father God. I look for you. The doors will be open. I knock. And it will be open. And if I seek you, I definitely will find you. Because that's what your word says. So, Father, I worship you, Lord Father God. Give them hunger and thirst to find you, to seek you, to knock at the door, Lord Father God. The same way you knock at our hearts. And we open it, Lord Father God. And we let you in, Lord Father God, in the name of Jesus. So, Father, I worship you, Lord. I thank you for your strength. I thank you for those. To help us and those that don't want to help us. And those that want to be a part of us and those that are struggling. Only. I thank you, Father. Help the ones that are struggling. Help them all, Lord. Help them all, Lord. Get them out of that rut they're in, oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus. The rut that the enemy wants to keep them down. The rut that, that the enemy wants to keep them out of church. The rut, oh, Father God. The struggle that they're going through, Lord Father God, in the name of Jesus. And I bind it. You have given us the power. You have given us your word to use it against the enemy, Lord Father God. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So my prayer is bring them back, Lord. Bring them back to the Zoom. Bring them back to the church. Bring them back so that they may sit humbly and understand that you are real. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Right. I have again, praise the Lord, Brother BJ. I want you to pray for the sick. I will heal those that are in the church already sick. Yes, Lord. I will restore their body, spirit, and soul, especially the inner man. Yes, yes, Lord. Father, there are a lot of people that are sick spiritually, physically, and mentally. So, Father, heal all body, soul, and soul. Lord, I, right now, in Jesus' name, I pray for wholeness, whole, 
that you will make wholeness, wholeness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray for healing right now, Lord. Healing is the children bread, and we eat it at bread, Father. We eat that bread, Father. Heal our bones, our muscles, our circulatory system, every part of our bodies. We heal, Father, by the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No weapon that is formed against the temple. Our temple is the temple of the Holy Ghost, and the gates of hell shall not prevail yeah, against yeah, us, Father. Yeah, yeah. Break every yeah, satanic yeah. thought, Father. Yeah. Break every satanic yeah. thought yeah. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Heal us, Lord. Yeah. There are people that are sick within their bodies. They're Break not even them. talking about it. But, Father, heal them. Heal their blood. Heal their bones. Okay. Heal their yeah. muscles, their circulatory system. Yeah. Heal yeah. their mind, Lord. Yeah. Heal their mindset, Lord. Their heart, Lord. Every part of their body, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That is the temple of the Holy Ghost, and the gates of hell cannot prevail against it, Father. Heal the Lord. Change their blood. Let them have a blood transfusion. Let it become your blood running through their veins. Jehovah Rapha. Glory, hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we call it done, Lord. Go to those hospital beds, those cancers of America, Father God. Dry it up, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those sleeping disorders, Father God. People that can't even sleep, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Glory, Papa. You said that you would give your beloved rest, Father God. And we thank you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Lord. Amen. Amen. What's your name, sister? Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, sister. Good morning. What's your name? What's your name? Anita. Anitra Fontleroy. Hi, hi, Anitra. This is in, this is Angela. This is Apostle. Welcome to our Zoom. Hey, good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Uh, what says in Psalms forty one? Blessed is he who conserves the poor, who will deliver him in a time of trouble, who will preserve him and keep him alive. He should be blessed upon the earth. He will not deliver him to the will of his enemies. Yes. The Lord will deliver him on his bed of illness. He shall sustain him as his sickbed. I said, the Lord, be merciful to me. Heal my, my soul, for I have sinned against you. Yes. My enemies speak evil of me when he, when he will die and then perish. Hey, Louis, when he comes to see me, he speaks their lies. His heart is gathered iniquity in his soul when he goes out to tell tells it. Who, are, who has hate me whispered together against me? Against me, they devise my hurt. Yes. Evil deceased say they will cling to him. Now that he is like down, he should not rest up no more. Even my own familiar friend whom I trusted, who ate on my bread, lift up his heel against me. That's a prophetic day. The Lord himself, I want to save you. Prophetic right there, a verse right there. Amen. But you, Lord, be merciful to me. Raise me up. Let me repay them. That you may repay that this. I know that you are you will please with me. Because my hand does not trump over me. As for me, you are for me with your integrity. Send me for your face forever. Bless be the Lord God of Israel forever. Amen and amen. amen. That's the God we serve. God's going to protect us. God's going to preserve us. And miss anything's going on. Amen. He's in charge of each one of us. Amen. I'm against this uh, Julie. I want you to pray, Julie. I'll uh, pray for the backsliders out there. There's thousands of backsliders out there. There's millions of them out there roaming around. I want some back to his presence, back to Zion. They're out there roaming around the devil's kingdom, the kingdom of darkness. It's going to come back to the kingdom of light. So God saved them. That's what was the purpose to save them, to show who he is. So they had, they had an assignment, but they lost our assignment. Yes, out there with no, with no purpose out there. Because they're making all this money, having all these good uh, positions, houses, and cars, I mean, nothing, man. That's what I said. What man gets the whole world loses his own soul. Huh? So without God, they ain't going to survive. That's what I said. Without me, you can do nothing. So pray for the backsliders. Go ahead. Father, I worship you this morning. Thank you, Sure. Father, just like when you was in the sea, Lord Father God, that you was preaching sure. and um, I think it was Peter you was in the boat with. You was in the boat with one of the disciples, Lord. Mm-hmm. And I believe it was Peter. I'm not sure. Don't Peter. quote me on that. Yes. Mm-hmm. Welcome to Waters. Yeah. yeah. Peter. Yeah. It was Peter. It was Peter, right? Yeah. yeah. Come Peter. told him. Come Peter. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not not the one when he walked on waters, but the one when he cast his neck. Peter, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was Peter. It was Peter. It was Peter. Oh, okay. It was Peter. It's All right, thing. Lord. So, um, Father, I'm spiritually, I hope everybody can picture this. 
but I'm spiritually casting my net. Because that's what you did when you was on the boat with Peter. You told him, cast your net on this side. And when he cast his net on this side, after you prayed, Lord Father God, there was a multitude of fish. There was so much fish that they couldn't contain the blessing. They had to bring other boats to bring in the fish. That there were so many. So, Father, I spiritually cast out my net, Lord Father God. And I'm bringing in the fish, Lord Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord. And I thank you, Father, because you have allowed me to cast my net. You have allowed me to throw my net in the water. You have allowed me, you have Lord, blessed me said, enough, Lord Father God. You have Lord, blessed me in multitude, Lord Father God, so that we can feed others, Lord, Lord Father God, so that we can give this word to others, Lord Father God, so that we can bless them in a mighty way with just one word that comes out of our mouth because if it comes out of our mouth it comes from you Lord father god so let it just just like one day i heard if you have a little bit of um just one you still have the anointing of god you still have god in your life so father i spiritually cast out my death and i ask you lord to help us bring in the fish, Lord Father God. I thank you for the prayer that you did with Peter. And he was able by faith, Lord Father God, to cast his net. By faith. Faith is a substance evidence hope for not seen, Lord Father God. So we will see the new things that are coming, Lord Father God. Because you will reveal it to us, Lord Father God. But I pray for the new fish that's coming. For the new people that are coming. For the new servants that are coming. Hungry and thirsty for you, Lord Father God. And the old ones, Lord Father God, I just pray that you bring them back, Lord. Take away all that stuff they got in their hearts and the spider webs in the corner, Lord Father God. That you take it out, Lord Father God. Everything, and, mm -hmm. and if there was bitterness and planted in them, Lord Father God, reach deep in and pull out that bitter root, Lord Father God, and throw it and cast it into the fire, Lord Father God, in the name of Jesus. And bring them back humbly, humbly, Lord Father God, humbly. Your word says that my people shall humble myself, humble themselves, Lord Father God. You shall heal their people and you shall heal their land, Lord Father God. So I pray for healing for them. I pray yes. that you bring them back. I spiritually catch my net by faith, Lord Father God. Yes. And I can see yes. the fish. I can yes. see the fish. I can see the multitude. It's going to be so much that they're, you're not going to be able to contain the blessing because it's going to overflow, Lord Father God. Yes. Because that's what happened in that day. There was so much fish. It was an overflow, Lord Father God. It was an overflow. So that's what I'm asking you, Father, for an overflow of your people so that they can learn, so that they can be come to your cross, Lord Father God, so they can come and learn of you, Lord Father God, and stay with you, not disappear, not backslide again, not get anything in their heart. Learn, Lord Father God, because this is not no time, Lord Father God to be backsliding and being stubborn and hindering their own blessings, Lord Father God, in Jesus' name, amen. Lord, amen, beautiful, thank you, Lord. Uh, the book says in Psalms 46, God is a refuge strength, a very present help and control. Good morning, guys, I'm sorry for my lateness. Yeah, good morning, honey, good morning, yeah, come on, man. Therefore, we will not fear, that's Bishop, honey. Uh, we should not fear even thought the earth be removed. Uh, so the mountains be carried out to the midst of the sea. So the waters roll in trouble. So the mountains shake in its wedding. There's a real whose strength should make glad the city of God. It's waiting for us. The holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She should not be moved. I forgot to say, heaven should pass away. It's not going to pass away. Nothing's going to be moved except God's kingdom. It's going to be moved. It's unshakable. However, God will show help her. Just as he's break out of vow, the nations will rage and kings are moved. He utter his voice on earth. No, see, judgment is coming. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, we host the works of the Lord who has made the little salvation of the earth. That's what's going to happen soon. God's going to bring this judgment. People don't see that. God wants everybody to repent, to come to know that he loved, and then sight came to die for each one of us. But people don't take that right there. Yeah, I know about Jesus. Yeah, I know about I, I went to that church last time. Yeah, whatever, you know. 
But when I have a chance, I go, go back to church, you know. There's all the teams, all the numbers. So the same thing, they don't pull sports in their mind. But when it comes to realization, you know, there's a real warfare, there's a real rapture, there's a real battle, man. They're going to know there's no game. That's what Paul says, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Right. Then Paul tells Timothy, spiritual son, fight the good fight. So we got to fight. But if you don't fight, you're going to get wiped out. And the battle is, think about it, the battle's not in the flesh, my brother and sister. It's in the spirit, man. Sure. Spiritual warfare, my God. That's sure. what we got to stay in the spiritual and stay in the spiritual war. Man, God bless you, my brother Raphael. Good morning, Raphael. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. God bless. How are you, man? How you? How you doing? I've uh, been busy. Night, night work. Okay. We've been praying for you, man. All right. Thank so, you. Uh, man, so I'm going to have now again. Honey, you there, Yadi? Yadi, are you there? Right. But, um, again, I'll be, I want you to pray. Be pray for the. Those in the authority, that will expose the crooked authority. I'm here, I'm here. There you are, there you are. I'm Please, here. You gotta, you gotta be there, you gotta be there. I repeat, okay. I want you to pray for the government in authority because so much things going on. Like last time it was, you know, there's so much stuff going on the government, the White House, man. It's not people don't know who this week. We got a weak cabinet, people saying all this stuff, man. The things are running, it's out of proportion. Uh, and we got a, we got the government, he got caught in a, he's saying that he got caught in a scandal, man. Instead of being an example, man, always talking, saying about this is that, man. Do the right thing. He got caught in sexual harassment and stuff. We don't know who we can trust out there no more, you know? The only could trust us in the Lord. Uh, Lord in the Lord, we could, tr we could trust, man. But he don't want to put down leaders and put up leaders, man. That's what he said. He put down and set up another. So he removed keys and set up kings. He changed times and seasons, according to Daniel. So I want you to pray for the governments and leadership, man. Go ahead. From the White, that high, from the White House down to the last person in, the, in leadership in the, as a principal, as a uh, government, who was in authority. Go ahead. Glory. That big, you pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for these people in governmental leadership. I pray for the president, for the cabinet, for the for the people and the kings and the leaders of the nations of the world, for the president. Of China, Lord God, and, and you're some type of governmental influence. And I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you would lead them and guide them. For your word says that we need to pray for, for presidents and governments. And your word says that the king's heart is in your hand. And Father, Lord God, um, you said, um, Bless is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly but walks in the counsel of God. And I pray, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, that you send prophets and preachers and people and laymen to speak to these officials, Lord. Father, that they will not be afraid, Lord God, like you sent Daniel to, to Nebuchadnezzar, like you sent Daniel to, <coughs> to King Cyrus, Lord God, like you sent Daniel to Darius, Lord God, Send powerful men of God, full of the Holy Spirit, full of your wisdom, full of your skills, full that that that, that can break yokes out of the minds and the hearts, like you did with David, with King Saul. That when David showed up, the king became at peace. Oh God, Father, deliver these people, deliver their minds, deliver their hearts. Anybody that's in political authority, that the, the need you're leading and you're guiding father i pray this father in the mighty name of your son jesus and i thank you lord god for the glory of your name i pray in jesus name amen, amen. 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 i have again a studio i want you to pray amen pray for the for the churches and the pastors in the church and god will lead them and guide them amen some of you got churches supposed to be in acting uh, working in spirit and truth they're working the opposite and god wants sacrifice he wants obedience that's what it says in the prophet, minor, minor prophet Micah, that he's tired of 10,000 rams. He's tired of all sacrifices and rams. Or he required to do justly, do justly to work with, to, to be mercy, to work in, work in mercy, and, work with, and to love mercy, and to work humble with the Lord. Three things he required. That's all he asked for us. Then you're not doing it. Then I work, then I'm doing justly. Then I love in mercy. Then I work in humble with the Lord. That's what God demands about it. Then I'm doing it. Then I'm going to send no sacrifice according to Micah. But then the God will rebuke, take chance. 
deliver, transform, and speak to these leaders and to the church, especially to to submit to the to the, to the pastors God has put in front of them. That's what I said to them. Submit to those who are over you. In other words, not controlling you, but they're showing you the way to heaven. But they don't give. They're, they're going to give an account. They're not do it with grief, but they do it with joy. And I believe that there's a lot of ministers of God, men of God, and they got the grief. And as I told you, why? Right? But a lot of people are not submitting to the authority. They're not submitting to what God's putting in front of them, so they're doing their own little thing. They want God's blessing. God says no. They want things of the world. God says no. When it's rebellion, according to Samuel, it's like witchcraft. So pray that God will guide the leaders, man, and the church get back in order. Go ahead. She got to unmute her mic. Unmute your mic, Julie. Oh, amen. Say that pray. again, Patron, because I was combing my hair. I pray that I pray, I pray I ask you to get out to pray for the churches and the pastors. That God will lead them in guidance. Go ahead. And put the church in order. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for the pastors, all the the head leaders that you have put in front of every church and the leader that's under him, which is the co-pastor of Father God and the leader that's under him, which is uh, the ones that deals with the schools and the Bible studies and the superintendent of Father God and the bishops and the ushers and the officials of the office of the, of the church, Lord Father God. I pray for each and every one of them, Lord Father God. I pray, Lord Father God, that you give them the strength to continue, that you give them the strength, Lord Father God, because this battle is not an easy one, Lord Father yeah, God. Email yourself, write your email. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Right. We bind every strong man that was launched out to attack against them, Lord Father God, in the name of Jesus. The enemy's trying to knock them out, take them out of office, just like in the pub political. It's the same thing in the spiritual, Lord Father God. So, Father, I come against all these attacks, Father. I pray that you put the, the armor of God on them on a daily basis, Lord Father God, so that they can withstand the wrestlements of the, the enemy, Lord Father God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, we do not fight against flesh and blood, but we fight against spiritual principalities in this earth, in, this, in the atmosphere, Lord Father God, in the name of Jesus. I pray that you cover their atmosphere, Lord Father God, in the name of Jesus. I pray that you cover their surroundings. I pray that you put a covering over them, Lord Father God, in the name of Jesus. Cover them, Lord Father God, with protection, Lord Father God, in the name of Jesus. Give them the armor of God, Lord Father God, so that they may withstand the darts of the enemy, Lord Father God. Give them the strength, Lord Father God, because your, your word says that you are our strength, Lord. You are our joy. You are our happiness, Lord Father God, in the name of Jesus. And I thank you and I glorify you this morning. Your word says that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, Lord Father God. Your word says that you are our joy. You are our happiness, our peace. You give us peace. The peace that surpasses all understanding the enemy cannot give us. And he cannot take it from us because he cannot give it to us, Lord Father God. So I thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you cover these pastors, that you give them the strength to continue praying for their flock, Lord Father God, that you bring their flock, Lord Father God. I thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, mm -hmm. amen. Okay. What says in Isaiah 41, verse 10? Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen for you. Yes, I will help you. Oh, you want righteous right hand. So that's going to promise that he's going to do not fear to the Holy Spirit's right hand. It's going to strip for you. Behold, those who are instances against you should be a shameless grace. This should be as nothing. Those who come against us, those who strive with you should be perished. You will seek them, they will not, you will not find them. Those who contain with you, those who are against you should be as nothing. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's nothing as an insistent thing. My God. I am the Lord your God who hold your right hand. Say to you, fear not, I am help, I will help you. Fear not, you one of Jacob, you of Israel. I will help you, says the Lord. You redeem the Holy One of Israel. And since this my he's gonna make us some instruments of warfare. That's what it says back in Ephesians, it means workmanship. What's gonna make out of us? Behold, I'm making you a new sharp, a stretching shed, sled with sharp teeth. You should stretch the mountain and beat them small, make the hills like chaff. Look at that, my God. You should win them, and the wind should carry them away. The wind should scatter them. They should rejoice in the Lord, and the great Lord, Holy One of Israel. 
Testament. She got to make us awesome instruments to, to destroy the works of the devil. But we gotta stay in the we gotta stay in the operating rooms where he can mold us and shape us for his purposes and plans. That's what back in Paul. Paul tells Timothy in the house is a great house. It's a house of honor, this honor, house of is a, it's a, a vessels of gold and silver or vessels of clay and wood. I mean clay or wood, wood and clay. What are you gonna be a dishonorable? It's up to you. So you could be this says in the same verse, you could be uh he just purchased himself from that article being used for the masses great for his use, for his, for his purpose and plans. That's you gotta be a vessel going on and, and silver to be put on fire in the fire. So I can raise you up genuine for real. You're not playing around. We got a, a lot of people out there are clean, uh, they are wooden clay out there, man. They're not for real. And they're playing church like a joke. And God sees all that. And God says, no, I don't play around. When the truck comes, when the fire comes, they all get burned up. But now they go and show they're going to be put off more to become like expensive gold and jewelry, a uh, gold and silver, man. It's the way it shine. You know what I'm saying? They almost to make us real for his glory, purpose and plans, man. So I'm going to have you again. I'm going to I want you to pray. Thank you, Lord. Pray, uh, pray for our marriages. Go ahead. The God will restore the marriages. The God will heal the, the, men, of, the, the men of God, the women of God. Take our strife, our anger, bitterness. Take, God, take our eight things that's, that's out of order. The enemy's trying to destroy. If the devil could destroy the marriage, there ain't going to be no uh, example. We're the only one example in this earth because the rest out in the earth, they, uh, out in the world, is no example at all. Everybody got there gets divorced, gets married, gets like a joke. And the church will never get divorced. Really, God will restore the marriage inside the church. Everybody get back in order. But God don't want to make you get. That's what God said. He's going to come with the church with no wrinkle, with no spot. And Paul spoke to him in the book in the saying he was talking about the church in himself. This is a great mystery. Paul said it. If God wants to the church, he wants the man of God to, to love his wife and the woman and the woman of God to respect her husband. Go ahead. Father, in the name of Jesus, right now I pray and I ask you, Lord God, that you help. Every marriage out there, Lord God. Father, you have instituted the marriage. You created man and woman, and you said that they should be fruitful and multiply. I ask you, Father, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, that you glorify your name, that you help them, that you, Lord, lift up, Lord God, the heart and the man and the woman that is married, watch over their children, Lord God. Father, you instituted marriage, Lord. You created it for your glory, Lord. I ask you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, that you glorify your name, that you help the mothers, the daughters, the fathers, Father, the, the, the sons, Lord God, that you bring unity to the family, Lord God, Father, help the husband and wives. You said, wives, submit to your husband as unto the Lord. You said, husband, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself for her. Lord, continue to help. Continue to glorify yourself in these marriages. <laughs> I bind and rebuke Jezebel, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. And I rebuke Satan and his power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I pray, Father, in Jesus' name, that you unite the marriages more than ever, that you help their homes, that you help their children. And, Father, that you also help those people that aren't married and they need a spouse, Lord God. I pray that you bring somebody to them, Father, and those women that have raised their children alone, Lord God. Yeah. Help them, cover them, protect them, Lord. Strengthen them and give them the wisdom to guide their family, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, man. So I'm going to stop here. I'm into my book, Theological Pentecostal Theology. Talking on the Pentecostal Theology, praise the Lord. Last time I spoke the last a while ago, I was talking about the doctrine of scriptures. We're still not in the doctrine of God. In this past few uh, days, I've been talking about the names of the Lord. Which we're talking on the we're talking on the nature of the Lord, with the nature of God. We've been talking about on uh, different um, beliefs of the Lord. And today we're still talking on the names of God. Almost done with this pages here on the names of God. After we do the names of God, we're gonna do the attributes of God, amen. And the doctrines of God in the mythical theological book, amen. The theology. So Let's just talk about on Jehovah Sofo. He is our king of glory. We're going to talk about Jehovah Shama. What does Shama mean? The Lord is there. We call him to Ezekiel chapter 48. If you have a pencil and pen, please, you can write down the scriptures, amen? 
I'm gonna give I'm gonna read some scriptures, write it down. You can study, meditate, man. You know, you can write what I got put in the spirit, write down revelation, will give you the Holy Spirit. So this book is deep, man. I'm gonna show us who he is through his book, through his word, especially. The word's gonna tell us about we're talking about the word of God here because 40 authors wrote this Bible, beautiful Bible, to show us the way to heaven. This was written in three continents, Europe, Africa, and Asia, to show us the way to heaven, what God got for each man in this planet. So when I'm going to Paris, they will come to repentance, amen. There's no other book like this Bible because this is the mind of God to the world. He has given us his, his word. We talked last time about how the word was being printed, how it came to being through clay, through all kinds of products. It was being preserved. God raised up the printers, the translators, amen. So we got the English version and other translations, amen. And uh, and God wants to know who he is through the word. That's what it says, Romans 10, 17 says, faith comes by hearing him the word. It says 2 Peter 3, 8, uh, 3, 18, to grow in grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Then you got to grow. If you're in the church as a child of God, I believe you need to grow. It's maybe been five years, 10 years, 20 years. They're still not growing. Why? Because they don't take heed to the word of God. All you do is walk with a Bible, go to home, and put it somewhere in a, and leave it with dust. Everything's else of myself and I. So you got to kill that self nature to know the things of God. That's what I said to be kind of mind, to, to, to be a, to be kind of mind is there, but to be spiritual mind is life and peace. You got to be a person of the spirit. You was born again. If we, that's what Paul said. If any man be in Christ, a new creature, all things pass away, everything become brand new. So that you next gonna that then that's gotta get fed by coming to Bible school, to me, by coming to Bible to, to Bible services, coming to your to what has put in you, go to Bible services, coming to Bible um to to study study time. And the more you come to the services, you're gonna grow. The more you come to Bible study, you're gonna grow. The more you come to the online business, you're gonna grow. Well, how far do you want to go? As many people then I then I went forth. Then I'm moving forth in the things of the Lord. Why? Because they, they're paralyzed. Why? Because they're not taking heed. That's what Paul said. To work out your own salvation. You got to work it out with fear and trembling. Sure. And God wants you to get right with him. Because now it's not going to happen. You're going to get deceived by the devil. He's going to manipulate you. He's going to deceive you. Put you in a situation of religion. And we got thousands and thousands of people inside church that are full of religion, man. They ain't going nowhere. God is not a religious man. He's not a religion. God is a spirit. God said, now you can true worship is worship in spirit and truth. We'll find that verse. Let me go for it. That's in John. Before we can wear in Ezekiel. I believe it's in chapter 4, John. The Samaritan woman had four husbands, right? And the Lord told her, you know, he, he told you, you're a prophet. What's this here? In uh, John chapter 4, a gospel of John chapter 4. And starting in verse. I'm going to start in 17. The woman answered and said, if I, I have no husband, you said to her, you have. Well said, I had no husband. But you have five husbands. And the one who you have now is not even your own husband. You spoke, you spoke truly. And the woman said to Sir, I perceive you are a prophet. Because it says here in the 20, a father worship on this mountain. And you Jews say that is, is in Jerusalem is the place where one ought to worship. The Lord told but spoke back to the woman. She said to her, Woman, believe me, if I was now as come when the Jews should need a worship, you should need in this mountain, nor in the Jerusalem worship the father. For, you, for your worship that you do worship, you do not know. You see, you, you do not know. But worship, we, we worship for salvation comes from the Jews. They came from God's people, the Jews, when God is Hebrew. To the Hebrew came out the Messiah, came out the prophet, came the word of God, the Torah. You see that. But now they're living in the, old, in the Old Testament, but God wants to save them regardless. They've been blinded because they don't believe Christ came already. They're still they're waiting for the Messiah. And one day he's going to show him his fingerprint. According to the way he was in Zachariah, he's going to show it to him. And he died for them. Right now, he guys dealing with three bodies, the body of Christ, the Gentiles, and the, and the Jews. So he's dealing with us, the Gentiles, the body of Christ. Once he's done with us, get us out in the rapture, we're going to, he's going to turn his face to the Jewish people. But he loves them. He died for them. He's married to them forever. Look at this. But look at this in 23 now. For the hours come now, the hours come now is when the true worshipers who worship the Father is what? In spirit and truth. You see that? For the Father seeks us to worship him. For God is his spirit, not religion. Those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. Simple as that. So this walk is not a, it's not a religious walk with a big cross. It's a relationship. The glory of saying the guy died on the cross, but the guy on that cross, he was buried according to, according to Corinthians. He was buried according to the scriptures. He was resurrected the third day according to the scriptures. He was buried and resurrected the third day according to the scriptures. And he's coming back according to the scriptures for us. You see that. It's in the word. Yes, we got to understand the names of God. God has given to us. It wasn't for Jesus Christ our Lord we know. We're being all in hell. Today, too, I'm talking about he's Jehovah Shammah. He's our Lord. What says in Secret 48, verse 35? 
And no way, look at uh, what's going here about the temple, Ezekiel, and dividing the land from the gospel and the great day of millennium. He's going to give each one of the portion to the 12 tribes. Look at what it says in 35. And all that way around should be 18,000 cupids. And the name of the city for that day should be called the Lord is there. That is Jehovah Shalom we're talking about. And the Lord is in the midst of us right now as a children. The gospel says back in the gospels, God said, we're two or three guys in my name. I'm in the midst of them. Jehovah Shammah. Do you see that? Let's talk about Jehovah Shammah. Then I'm going to get to the scriptures. What is around about 18,000 measures? The name of that city from that day should be called the Lord is there. So, the, Jericho 48, be read, verse 35. How the strength is, is, is to know the trans, the transcend of God who created the vast universe and the, also the amendment of God, every present with his people. God created the universe for his glory, man. God got different creations out there we don't know about. And they, people are trying to explore, but I ain't going to allow that. He just created a little planet Earth, and he got more planets out there. Out there, there's a lot of Milky Ways. That's something there's a lot of Milky Ways. There's a lot of planets out there. Got to be a lot of life force out there. God only created for his glory. That's what it says back in Deuteronomy 32. Secretism belongs to, to, secretism belongs to, 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 secretism belongs to the Lord. And God wrote to our sons and children, children. He wrote to each one of us. So it is God wrote to us because it's not part of our, to know about. It's all his personal, it's confidential for the Lord. He erased up a, a human uh, planet called Earth to create God is, in his beautiful creation. He created Earth. He, he, he created a, a man called Adam. The most crowned creation was Adam. He was creating God's image. And man was creating enough for no bang theory, like they said out here. All these false teachers in the universities, spending thousands and thousands of dollars, thousands and thousands, six thousand, twenty thousand, and you know, education for nothing. They were foolish. I ain't came out for no animal. I ain't no theory. Came out for no bang. God said I was created from the dust of the earth. And we was created out of a bone. Do you see that? For mother living, all, mother all living. He's the only human being that didn't have no belly button. You know that? Ever thought of that? Because he came out of a woman. He came out of a mom, his mother's mother. He was being Adam. God created him for a purpose to create him in his image. And what happened? He messed up big time. It happened. It was disastrous. That's what it says back in Genesis chapter 6 that it was corrupt, full of violence. If you look in Genesis 6, the corruption of the falling angels of the giants, all this madness was going on. So God had to restore the back the it was a typology of Jesus Christ in each part of the book of the Bible, the Old Testament. One day he's going to come in the Bible. The, the old is a shadow, and then he was a substance. So he became the new substance, became a second Adam, Jesus Christ. He overshadows one young woman named Mary, and she bare the son of the living God, a young virgin. And she bare God, God the son to die for us in the cross of Calvary, gives back eternal life. Everything Adam did to us, God restored back to us back again. He gives back an eternal life, he gives back our rights, he gives back our privileges. We say now we come to Ephesians, heavenly places. Paul said we sitting in heavenly places. You've been sealed to the foundation. Each of you got to play an assignment for God's purpose in the end time stage. We, we have the last commission. That's it. God wants to go forth. For What's God's purpose? When souls. That's what God says. Pray for the labor. Pray for the harvest. For the harvest is white and plenty. It's wait. It's ready for the labors of few. Are you willing to be used by God Almighty? Are you willing to be used by God in each, in each avenue for His glory? It all start by dying to self and staying the cross. Walking with Jesus, say, Look, I want you to know my daughter go through this over here for you. Go to the hospital, minister to the people, pray over them, to the prison ministry. But first, before he got to develop you, he got to train you. As many people go before time when I don't know what to do, and they're falling in traps of the devil, man. But the devil is a strategy to rebuke, man. You know how to tempt, you know how to track you. Thus, you got to walk in the spirit. You got to watch and pray. That's what I said watch and pray for the flesh is weak, but the spirit is willing. You see that? So Jehovah Shammah is in the midst of us always. That's what two or three other I'm in the midst of you. This says back in the epistle of John, greatest he is in us, he is in the world. 10,000 times more, 10,000 times more than there is in the world. The the devil greatest, is greatest, greatest in us. Who do you think is in you? God, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. That's what's the back point. 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5. Examine yourself. Test yourself. You're in the faith or not. Don't you know Christ is in you unless you're disqualified? You see, you got to test yourself. You got to show you're walking with the Lord. Make sure you, you're, you're walking with the Lord. You got to examine yourself. Many church brothers and sisters, they don't test them, they don't examine themselves. So when when up on the trap, they'll say, oh, God is not here. They never put those thoughts in their mind. But the battle's in their mind. You got to be in your thoughts. According to, according to Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Do not be comfortable, be transformed, and renewing of the mind. And the more you renew your mind, you're going to have the thoughts of Jesus Christ, the thoughts of the Lord. And then when it attacks your, battle, your mind, the battlefield of the mind, you're going to use the shield of faith. Say, no, devil. He's going to bounce off. Paul says, put on the whole arm of God. Be strong in the power of his might. And your hope. And Jehovah Shammah is up inside of us. Who is that? God the Father, Son, Holy, Holy Spirit. 
God is one guy, he's one, but he got three components. He's Father, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. We got three components. We got a body, soul, and spirit. God wants to be inside of us. You see that? And make his habit inside of us. Once he inhabits the Ark of the Covenant, that's what we're saying, Joanne, and then you're going to be wrong of the covenant. Now God's going to be in the midst of his people. That's what Paul says back in the Corinthians, to the Corinthians in the book of Corinthians. He told them, now you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. You are the temple of God. You are the temple. God, it was in you. When he was talking about the Corinthians to the people, he was talking about the beautiful marble temple. He said, but well, you guys are in front of me. This big group here, you're the temple of the Holy Spirit. And God wants to raise each one of us for his glory with different, with different gifts of the Spirit. Yes, we got to grow in the fruits of the Spirit. It's nine gifts of the fruits, and it's nine gifts of the Spirit. God wants to impart you different gifts of the Spirit, but you got to grow. But if you don't grow, he cannot use you. Now, you're being used in a certain way. A person has grown in a certain way, in God's way, and God using blessing, using different manifestations. But it is, according to Paul in 1 Corinthians, Corinthians chapter 13, it's no love. He's nothing. He's just a sign and symbol. Okay, Paul said, I could have all the mystery interpretation. I could talk angelic voices. I could do all interpretation of tongues. I have no love. I am nothing. Yeah. And so a lot of people doing that. So I took you around in churches are doing that. They have their bit of a certain areas. They've been using the gifts of the Spirit, but since then, there's no love. They ain't going nowhere, man. Where is the love of God? That's what God says in John 3, 16. For God so loved that world, gave only be God his son. We bring him that should not perish, everlasting life. So where is no love? The opposite is hate. They got a lot of selfish people inside the church, or people did me, myself, and I. You got to pay me to see me. You crazy, man? I got to pay a ticket to go see because you're going to sing, you're going to worship God, because you're going to do a, a preaching. Get out of here, man. The word of God is free. He's giving it to people so they can be free from the powers of darkness. He sent his son to give us an example to die for you. What was the little one saying his ministry? He was, he was here to preach. He was here to, to, to teach and to deliver. That was his mission, to, to preach the word, to teach them, disciple them, and deliver them. If you look at the word in the Gospels, what he did was awesome. He did so many miraculous miracles. Then he used the apostles in the book of Acts constantly. That's you got to be in full of the Holy Ghost and power. You got to get full of his wisdom. You got to get full of his love. Now, there's no love. You're going nowhere. You see that. That's what he called Jehovah Shammah. Let me go back to the book. He strengthened no other strength. Under. He created the, the universe. And man, God, God's every present with his people. You see? The water of Hebrew, the water which the writer of Hebrew declares, he has said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee, so that you may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. Look at this. And I, I will not fear what make him do into me. Yes, Hebrews chapter 13, write it down. Chapter 13, verse 5 and 6. I want you to know that he's Jehovah Shammah, that he died for you and me in the cross of Calvary's cross. That was his son. He died for us. We're going to have to back the relationship with the law. So God could be going with us. Anywhere we go, he's with us. God's presence, when you go out, he's right there next to you. Do you know that? That's Jehovah Shammah. When you're in your house, when you're going out to places, when you're doing all kinds of things you got to do, work, whatever, go for, do exercise, whatever, he's right there with you. Now, if you stop playing with sin, you start compromising your walk with the, with the world, you break the spiritual law. You're breaking the, 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 the divine protection. That's what says in the Ecclesiastes, that he that breaks the head, the serpent is going to bit him. But then says back in, in, in the Psalms, the angel of cancel around the Lord. He really says, in cancel around those that fear the Lord. So if you're not, if there's a thousand people out there in the church, they're not fearing the Lord. So what happens? There's no divine protection. They're more oppressed than full of the Holy Spirit. They're more full of lust than full of the Holy Spirit. They're, full, they're more full of, of, of scared, of fear than the Holy Spirit. They're, full, they're, more, they're more full of doubt than the Holy Ghost. They're full of God's presence. That's what's back in Timothy. Paul says, Timothy, uh, 2 Timothy, I think, 1 7. He says, For God not giving us the spirit of fear. You see that? That's the, that's the world. But a power, love, and a son of mind. You see that? You got to make sure your mind is full of God's word, full of God's word, word for his love. God, say, I will, God says, Isaiah, he will keep him in perfect peace with, whose mind stayed at plenty. Truth in the Lord, for from the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. So God's going to keep your thoughts and minds. We got to think right thoughts. Sometimes we don't think right thoughts. Look what Paul says to the Philippines. Let me go there quickly. Before I go to the uh, scriptures on Jehovah Shammah, look what says in Philippians about thinking. What are you thinking? Look what says in Philippians chapter 4, verse um, starting in verse 6, six and uh, 7, 8. Look what says here in verse 6. Be incestuous for nothing. And many people try a lot of people incestuous, man. And everything by prayer, supplication, with thanksgiving, they request be known to God. Make sure you request be known to God with supplication and thanksgiving. And the peace of God which perpetuates all understanding will guard your hearts and minds to Jesus Christ. You see, you're in God our minds and thoughts. This says, hey, you, got the, what you should think right. 
think right, what's it? Frame my brain. What are things are just true? What are things are noble? What are things are just? What are things are pure? What are things are lo lovely, lovely? What are things are things are good? Report. If any virtue, that means power in the Greek. If there any anything crazy, where you meditate on these things? Meditate on them. She got to meditate on these good things. She's going to keep in the midst of warfare constantly. If it's being rushed like a monster, if anybody's being attacked, but it's going to pass by you because it can't touch you because your mind's covered with Christ's blood. It's covered with his word. It's covered with his self. Oh my God, with his Holy Ghost. You see that? That says in that verse, this thing which I have learned, you have learned, received and heard and saw in me. So he was posing an example. And these things do, and the God of peace be with you. See that? That's what pulls us back to the Corinthians also for, for our weapons of warfare, not kind of mighty through putting down the strongholds. We got mighty weapons. Everything is over against Christ's knowledge, we got to cast it down. You got to put it to subject to Jesus Christ. When your mind is hype skeptical, you won't know. We got to make sure you lower your soul down. That's what I said. A, 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 a humble and contrary heart, a humble and contrary heart, I will, God will not despise. Make sure you're humble before the Lord. But we got so many proud people, they know it all. You know it all. You know it all. But the devil is going to wipe you out. And God ain't going to be in the midst of you at all. Because you know, that's what says the word of God. Uh, but he was just the proud, gets more grace into the humble. Do you see that? He is called Jehovah Shama. God is there. He's everywhere. His presence is with us right now. So I talk to you. Right there, right now, with you right now. So I talk to you. That's what I said. With two or three guys in my I'm in the mess. Verses. Let's go to verses. Psalms 139. Verse 7. Write it down if you want. Psalms 130, um, 39. Psalms 139. Verse 7. Where, look what says the here the psalmist. Where can I go from your spirit? Look at that. Where can I flee from your presence? You hear that? He said, where can I go? Look what says in 8. If I descend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning, I will do well in the minimal parts of the sea. Even there, you should leave me. You should, right, the right hand should hold me. And I show you, you should, darkness should be fall on me. Even night should be light into me. Look at that. Wow. Indeed, the darkness should be not hid from you. But the night shine as the day. Darkness of the light of the bow. A light to you. For you form my inward parts. You cover me with the mother's womb. You see that? Yes. I will praise you for I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Moments are your works. God knows each one of us. He sees everything. He's Jehovah Shama. He could cut all your hair, your hair. You know, each number of your hair comes with your soul. You know, all the hair numbers. You know what's that? Wow. That's the guy you mean serving as I took you right now. That's what says back in Ezekiel and, and the prophet, the, behold the eyes of everywhere, behold it, evil and good. He's beholding everything in strong. He sees everything. The only thing, the, and the thing about it, that he looked at, I was a prisoner. He saw prophet Samuel. Samuel, I didn't look at the prison. In, the prison passed past me, the sons of Jesse. He said, I look at the heart. He told him, I look at the heart. They all passed me, all sons of Jesse. Mr. Venus, beautiful, giant and tall. He said, he rejected all of them. said, nah. There's one more is where was she's thinking called David. She said, call him more. And said, God said, that's the one. That's after my heart. But there was after God's heart. He was a psalmist. He played the heart. God looking for women that got to look at me after God's heart. Man, got after his heart. So God could raise him up and bless him. When you got after God's heart, God could use you. God could trust you. When you got the guy, you, you did something wrong. You're on you so quickly. You see that? We had a king so he was for he was a people's prison, not a God's prison. What happened? God cut him off. He went to the witch indoors, consulted him to, to get counsel from the Lord. There was no counsel. God shut him off. He took, cut him off and stripped him, gave the kingdom to David. When he committed suicide, David, when he committed, he committed adultery and murder. But okay? he forgave him. God, he humbled himself. He created a beautiful Psalm 51. Say, Oh Lord, forgive me. Lord, have mercy on me according to riches and glory. Put the right spirit with me. Take away your Holy Spirit for me. Bring me a right spirit. He was telling the Lord, David. He realized his consequences was upon his house. God forgive them. But he did, he opened that door to the devil. But God forgive them. But what happened for doing that in the millennium? Of now he has souls in hell. He's going to graduate from, from hell to from this of fire. But then he's going to be a king. He's going to be a prince of God's spirit according to Ezekiel. God's going to be king, Lord of the Lord, king of over all of us, over the nation of Israel. But he's going to be a, a, a shepherd over God's people, David. But God loved them so much, man. He's the type of the Lord. You see that? And you and me are the body of Christ. We God's beloved. We his royal generation, a real, a real, a real, a royal priesthood. Ezekiel says in the book of Revelation, we are called to be kings and queens because a king got to be a queen. Priest and priest for his glory. You see that? And we, we all been chosen by the Lord for purpose and plans. 
You just call Joe Bimini wonderfully made, perfectly made. Nobody like you in the world. Nobody. Probably somebody looks a little bit like you, but you're unique. They don't have the traits you have. They don't have the, the things you guys put in you. And he wants to wake those gifts out of you. He wants to wake them up. If you stay with the Lord, he wants to wake them up and put them up and send you forth. So souls could be won to his kingdom. Don't you know God wants to raise, he's wanting to go save souls? That's what says Solomon Prophet. Those are wise who save souls. Through your gift, through your manifest, through, through your uh, God's putting your spirit, he wants to use your souls to be one. He wants to save the nation of, of, of Islam, of Muslims. He wants to save all these different occult people. All these religious people want to know they come to know Jesus Christ, the real Jesus Christ, the real rock. People serving all false gods, false, they're worshiping men. Well, forget about it. They're foolish. They ain't going nowhere. Amen. Second Corinthians chapter three, uh, verse seventeen. Let's go there. Second Corinthians chapter three. Look what it says in verse uh, three, uh, three seventeen. Uh, uh, Corinthians. Second Corinthians three seventeen. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit, the Spirit of there is liberty. You see, it's liberty. It's liberty. You can see that you're walking in freedom. This is the next verse. We are on veil faces, behold, as in a mirror, the glory of the Lord are being transformed. You see, being transformed from same image to from glory to glory, just by the Spirit of the Lord. What are you beholding? Behold yourself being transformed before your God. So you saw that you're being transformed to going to the statue of Jesus Christ. See yourself with a with a sharp mind. See, behold yourself being blessed. See yourself doing, having the best God's blessings in your life. See it. Behold it. But you got before that, you got to renew your thoughts. See your soul, you, you cross me. See your soul, God, you for his glory. Behold it, see it. But before that, you got to be in the spirit. You got to be delivered from the powers of darkness. Like with the, with the spirit of there is liberty. And you walk in the freedom of the spirit, God could do great things to each one of us. That's what's back in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20, that he, is more, that he could do more exceedingly abundantly than we actually think according to the power that work in us. Think about that. Wow. He will double your thinking when you're asking the Lord and when you're praying, he'll double you. And I'll ask for the impossible. Ask for the impossible. What's what going to happen? But you got to be true to your walk, true to your calling. That's why he says, alone, when you pray and, and say no to doubt, if you doubt and believe that you receive, you should have them. That's what he says back to his disciples. All things are possible to those that believe. Wow, what a promise. All things are possible to those that believe. I don't want to walk in a, in, a, in a certain level of spirituality and I'm full of abuse by God. I mean, I got the gifts of something wrong with that. It's also... There still is no love. I'm nothing. I want to be full of the love of God. I want God to baptize me in his love. But that love is going to interfere you and me. God said, you don't know you about my disciples. You don't see because we love one another. It's the love of God, man. They die for the entire world. It's the love of God is going to get us out of here. Love is greater than, than death. We got faith, hope, right? It says in the Corinthians, right? The greatest thing is love. The greatest love. We got a church that's not, there's a lot of people in the church that are full of hate, full of Racism, full of resentment. They go nowhere, man. Wait a minute. You know why? Because they're not living to God's standards. They're not dying to that soul nature. You cannot be in the old nature. You got to crucify the old to walk in the new nature. But the new, new nature is going to show you who Christ is and where God's going to be looking to you through the scriptures. But you still walk in the old nature, you're going to see the world in a different fashion. No time for the word. It's just read a couple of scriptures, you walk away. That don't work like that. You got to spend time with the Lord. You got to spend time with your, with your Lord and Savior, your, 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 your Lord and Savior. People spend more time with their friends, spend time going out to malls, buying all kinds of stuff, man, especially the ladies. That's how it is, man. They like shopping. But then, as a woman of God, as a man of God, your voice makes you should spend more time also with your Lord. So God could in increase you. God could speak to you. God could mold you. God could shape you for his purpose and plans. But we got a lot of women out there, man. They ain't supposed to be, you know, in the church, man, man of God. They're doing all kinds of stuff they're supposed to be doing, man. Sad to say it. But then I came close to Jehovah Shammah. God is calling us out. So he could rest for a little season. He could rest in his presence. So he could minister you. He could speak to you. He could train you. He could speak to you. But when you spend more time with that flesh, you spend more time in the world, the enemy's going to take advantage. Now there's no time for the word, no time to go into church, no time for nothing. Everything's I got to take care of myself, bills, bills, bills. You see that? Now the devil gets you in a situation. You got to be balanced. You got to make sure. What says in Colossians, man? Before we go to the scriptures, Colossians chapter 3. Who says Colossians chapter 3 and, ver and verse and verse 1? Who says Paul here to the Colossians? If you were raised with Christ, if you raised with Christ, 
Seek those things which are above. Where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God right now. You hear that? He may just make intercession for you and me. He's the high priest before the Father. When we pray to God, the Holy Spirit receives the prayer. Grows, we get on stroke by according to Corinthians. He's going before us. The Holy Spirit speaks, praying for us. He gives to the Holy Spirit, to the Lord, uh, Lord Jesus Christ, a uh, uh, high priest, an uh, advocate according to the epistle of John. And then he gives it to the God the Father. And they talk about it in the round table. You see that? Look at this. If God will give you that position. I repeat, if you raise with Christ, single which are above, with Christ sits at the right hand of God. Say your mind the things above, not the things upon the earth. You see, many still got the things upon the earth. They're supposed to be Christian believers. Something's wrong, they walk. Say your mind things upon the things upon uh, things upon the earth. Say your mind things above and upon heaven, up on the earth. For you are dead. And your life is hidden in Christ God. When Christ is alive, appear if you show supreme in glory. You see that. You got to make sure you're dead to that soul nature. When you came out there, you were sanctified. You, mean, you, belong, you belong to God. Now you guys are doing great things in your life. He's molding you, shaping you, developing you constantly. If you're seeking him. You're activating your faith. That's what God says. You got to work out your salvation. Second stage, you're not being glorified before the Father. When he looks at you, you see the seal of the Holy Spirit. You blow while your name is being in the book of life. The next one is going to be the third stage. We're going to be glorified bodies. Soon, that glorified is coming sooner or later. That's the next event. The rapture of the church. That's going to take people out of here. You're going to be with him in glory. You're going to be taken on the dead in Christ. You're going to rise first. You're going to be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. The great man is waiting for us. We're going to be judged by Jesus Christ according to Corinthians, not by God the Father. The white throne is what those for those in the as personal Savior according to the word in Revelation. That the books were open. The one was the book of life. And if you're never looking at the book in the book of life, you're going to be cast into the lakes of fire. It's going to be horrible. You're going to be, you're going to be tried to the fire. God's going to put the fires to the fire. If your works are not really made, going to burn up. You're still going to be saved. I want my words to be genuine, to be for you, so God could promote me, God could bless me. Do you see that? And get back the crown to the Lord in his, in his feet. That's what it says back in relation. He that overcomes from heaven, all things, I will make him lead, or rulers over nations. Believe it, I feel that promise. He that overcomes from heaven, dressed in white. I will give him a new name, a little, a little white pebble. Doesn't nobody know the name. Only you know the name. All right. What is it? God's too many promises. God is for one of us, man. But you got to overcome. You got to stay faithful. You got to continue searching for him. Make sure you die to the old nature state. Make sure your minds are set up with this above. We got people going to most. There's nothing wrong with that being rich. God wants to make us rich. That's what it says back to you now in, in, the, in Proverbs. The, uh, the blessed those to make rich, you have no sorrow into it. You see that. But many are more seeking more things of the world. And this is God's what God said. Uh, uh, they're more into seminary, making, getting rich and getting rich spiritually. Because grace starts inside, not outside. That's what like the epistle of John. Be not wish about things you prosper, being in health as I so prosper. This is back to Joshua in chapter 1, verse 8. When they came out of uh, Egypt, the new generation entered the promise that they had to fight a battle with 31 kings. He gave one key to Joshua. Uh, Joshua 1 says, This book of the Lord should not be part of thy mouth, but you should be, be called, you should uh, observe because all the men therein observe. Then you make that way prosper and have good success by staying faithful to this beautiful book here. This the mighty book is not a book in the Bible, it's not a book in the world like this book. And the word, this became like one of them, and the word became flesh, full of grace and truth. Jesus Christ, son of the living God. But the world was full of philosophy, full of folk new age literature, and all this Jesus stuff, whatever, man. It's all lies and deception. They're trying to shut down the church. They ain't going to shut down the church. They're going to shut down the mouth of prophetic voice. They can do whatever they want. I ain't going to allow that. They can raise up all kinds of uh, documents or something. No, 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 no. That's what, that's what said Peter in the book of Acts. It, it's more better to listen to God than to men. Who are you going to hear? God or man? And as many people in the church are still people's pleasers instead of God's pleasers. They're going nowhere, man. They're foolish. They go sideline compromises. They compromise with the world when they be in church, man. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And you don't want to bless people like that, man. They're so called carnal Christians. They're dangerous. God told the Apollo, two, three, two. Remember the book of Acts? He chose the seven men among them. But they had to go back to the studies and for prayer. He said, choose seven men among you with three things, full of good testimony. Full of the Holy Ghost and full, and full of the wisdom of God. He called it to James. What is above is it's not stuff, is 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 peaceful, it's gentle being treated. And as many people are said to say they got the wisdom of the world inside the church, man. That's what's a lot of envy, it's a lot of jealousy, a lot of rage. That's what Paul says back in Encyclopedia. Money is a defect because we need got created money. Also, God's wisdom is a defect. You got that combined, you got it made. When you got a million dollars in your hand, you got the wisdom of the world, you're going to ruin everything. It's going to be ruined. You're going to mess everything upside down. Because you're not being led by the Spirit of God. God wants you to be wealthy spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, and financially. 
like Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's what's back in the book of Galatians, that the blessings of Abraham come upon us the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. So read to my father Abraham and Herbert, I and Herbert. But we got to pay a price by staying faithful to Jesus Christ our Lord. That's why he told his disciples, but go back to the scriptures. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all things going to be added to you. Amen? Back to scriptures. Psalms 95. Let's go to Psalms 95. Talking about Jehovah Shammah. God is everywhere. He's right in the midst of us. Uh, 95 verse 2. Let us come before his presence. Look, Jehovah Shammah with thanksgiving. I want you to be thankful. Let us shout joyful to him in the Psalms. So when you come to God, you come with thanksgiving. Do not come with, re come with requests, but give him, be thankful. Everything God's giving you. The little thing you have, be thankful. Be grateful for the little things you have. But you say, no, Lord, but, but, but. God, 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 hates, God hates murmuring. He hates complaining. He hates that. That's why the truth of Israel came out of Israel and started complaining. But God could do this, but, but, but. And they all got left behind in the desert, man. They all wiped out. They never entered the promise now. God, little, God, had a, God had a possession to give them, and they lost, that, they, they lost it. But they lost it because they were murmuring, complaining, and God hates that. They should have stayed faithful to the God's word. They should have stayed faithful to Moses. And what happened? They didn't enter the promised land. And they all perished in the desert like fools. And that's happened to a lot of people. They went back, back, back in the desert, and they don't make it to the next level. 20 years, 10 years, 40 years, man. You know, 40 years, man, the same old spot, man. Think about that. What kind of manifestation? What kind of stuff is that? Wait a minute. I've been 20 years already, man. Why am I in the same old spot? Well, examine yourself. Test yourself. Don't you know Christ is in you? God wants to raise you up. God wants to bless you for you playing church. Look what it says in Psalm 66. What a verse. Look at this. I'm going to start in uh, 10. Psalm 66, verse 10. Oh, for you, God, you have tested us. God's going to test us. You have refined as silver is refined. You see? What's to refine us? You brought us into a net. He brought us like a fish out of a net. You lay a fish upon us. You see, God says, they let, let you go to a fish. That's what said. Many other afflictions are righteous, but we'll get them out of them all. You see this? Yes. You cause men to ride over our heads. You see, men's, men's continue, men is being attacking, whatever, prosecuted, don't worry about it. We went through type of, we went through fires and water, type of truth, tribulations, and trials. It's going to happen to all of us. But look what happened. Look at the results. But you brought us out to a rich fulfillment or to a rich land. After you pass your tests, your trials, God's going to put you in a rich land of fulfillment. But you got to go through the processing. God got to move you and shape you for his purpose and plans. It's not over nice. It's going to cost you. It's going to cost me. People are going to Burger King Gospels right now as I talk to you. It's their way. Your way. Okay, it's your way, but ain't going nowhere, man. There's no results there. God is not involved with that. God says in the sign, say the prophet, I'm the Lord God that makes you how to profit. How to profit. Now, people, get out of here, man. It's by staying in faithful to his word, staying faithful to his calling. Do you see that? Second Corinthians chapter 5. Let's go to Second Corinthians chapter 5. Verse, verse 8. We are confident, yes, we are, we are, we well pleased rather to be asking for this body to be present with the Lord before his presence. See anything God forbid any of us, any of us die? What do you mean we present with the Lord Almighty? That's Jehovah Shammah. Do you see that? That's the richness of God being in his presence, man. It's not to be in God's presence. That's rich, brother. That you're more rich than a billionaire, man. But those people are all miserable. They were telling me the prophets, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't get no sleep. This, this sleep is taken away. The only thing about their money is going to steal their money. All these great billionaires, whatever they have, they ain't going nowhere, man. But you and me get the, we get the blessings of God beyond money, brother, brother and sister. We get, God wants to make you wealthy spiritually, but you got to pay a price. You got to continue searching for the Lord, hungry after the Lord. So you could develop, God could develop your inner man, the real person being called, being, being born again. What causes the renewing of the mind? Renewing, renewing. Be transformed by being renewed of, of your mind. You see that. And the more you get renewed, the more you know God's will in your life. We're calling to Romans chapter, we know that, Romans chapter 12, uh, verse 2. This is Romans 12, verse 2. Do not be conformed to this world, but be what? Transformed of the renewing of the mind. You see, once you renew what's going to happen, you know you know what to do. First, that you may prove what is good and as such in the perfect will of God. 
In other words, money, decision making, opening a business, going to a travel somewhere, uh, getting married, whatever, doing whatever, man. It is in God's will, it's gonna prosper. And God's gonna approve it with his step of the Holy Ghost. Do you see that? My Lord, Psalm 16. I pray God speak to you, his Jehovah shall to each one of us. God is presence everywhere, he's in the midst of us. Uh, Psalm 16, verse 11. You should look at you will show me the path of life. Look at that. In your presence, Jehovah Shama is for fullness of joy. Look at that promise. My God. That's what I say. Many uh the many sorrow is going to be into the wicked. Jeremiah said that the, the wicked is like a troubled sea. You see, it's no, it's all full of sorrow, man. They ain't going nowhere. Look at this. Your right hand, a pleasure forevermore is pleasure forevermore. God wants to bless us beyond our dreams. He wants to give us things, it's blessed by him, not by the world. When God gives you a gift, God forbid, if you go back to the world, you're, you're giving that to the devil in the world. We had a great woman of God, man. She was an awesome artist, Wendy Houston. She was brought up in the church, in Baptist church, and she got she going out to back to the world and started singing, making millions of dollars, whatever, became an awesome um, celebrity, and she sang beautiful music. Look at her voice, man. Look at her results. So hard, so hard, so hard to say that. But talk about her. What happened, she, what happened to her? What happened? She did an overdose. She was supposed to be given, she was given to God, not to the devil. And the devil lied to her. Tried to miss you all these drugs. Look, she could have made an overdose, man. The great woman, Hughes, the great sinner for the Lord, the worshiper. And I believe she hung on so before she died, man. Say, Lord, forgive me, Lord. I took it to glory, probably. He took it to glory. She sang the awesome, that's awesome song. I believe our, our children of our future. I believe our children of our future. Teaching will and show them the way. Wow, man. That song touched everybody. A woman with a kind of voice was anointed still. But she was out there with the world out there, with the filthy devil and the, 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 the doctors out there. But I believe she made a peace with her before she died because she knows she was wrong. Her parents told her the way to heaven, not to hell. And it's to say, my daughter follows the same footsteps, man. That's you got to keep close to your Lord and Savior. Keep yourself to the Lord. Make sure you walk with the Lord. Make sure you don't walk away from the Lord. But the devil's watching how to destroy you. That's what says John 10, 10, the thief only comes to kill, to steal, to destroy. That's his method. He don't come with no big long tail. He comes with a human being to you. Hey, how you doing, sister? How you doing, my brother? La, la, la. They, they try to talk to you. They try to persuade you. They try to uh, manipulate you. They use all kinds of devil's wisdom, how to take you to, to, to do their thing. They're called takers. They want to take you. They says in the same verse, but I come unto be abundant life. That's what Paul says in Corinthians, be not entering saints' devices. Paul says, when we Marmon now changed right, translate like an angel or light. He's translated like an angel and he got his false ministers. You hear false ministers? That's who get you and me. That's who got to know who you're walking with, who you're talking with. That's what it says back in Proverbs Solomon. He that walks with wife is white, but a companion of fool be destroyed. Then Paul says back in Corinthians, New Testament, bad communication corrupt good manners. You got to make sure who you're walking, who you're talking with. Make sure you're walking with spiritual people. And that person in church, even inside the church, he's not supposed to get out of it. Don't even talk to that person, man. Because he's playing with the world. He's a joker. He's talking about things like God in a, in a certain way. You feel it's a clash there. He's not even for real. That's what it says back in the epistle of John chapter 4, verse 1. Beloved, do not believe your spirit. Try the spirits that come from the Lord. Through the Holy, you're going to try it out. You're going to try it. That's the devil. That's not me. God's going to prove it. But you got to get in communion with the Holy Spirit constantly. Let him, let him talk to you. Make sure you have your spiritual antennas up. So God will tell you, this is me. This is not, this is not me. This is me. This, he's going to tell you. That's what's back in the book of Romans. As many as live by the Holy Spirit, those are sons and daughters of God. Let me start to find out first for the Romans, right? But God speaking to you. He's Jehovah Shama. He's Jehovah Shama. God is everywhere. His presence is everywhere. He is here right now with us right now. I talk to you. Find out first. So. As many as live by the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I want to bless you guys. I want to raise you up. But we got to pay a price. It's a price to pay. It's a price to pay. It's going to cost you. It's going to cost me. How far do you want to go? How far do you want to see his glory? Here, let's go. Romans chapter 8, verse 14. As many as led LED by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. You hear that? Then you come here and you mute. So you got to believe by the Holy Spirit. But he's the one to all, to all got to, to heaven. He's the one to give you how to prosper. He'll show you how to open business, how to do things for God's glory. 
Prosperity doesn't start in a Wall Street, guys. Oh, in Hollywood, all these, all these actors and stuff, making millions, whatever. It starts right in here. Spirit man. Once your spirit man is wealthy, man, God can trust you with wealth. He could trust you with great things, man. man he could trust you. They're going to mess up big time sooner or later. They ain't going nowhere, man. That's what's back. Solomon, Solomon says in prize, a way she right to a man or woman, but his end forth is death. Do you see that? My God. Psalms 97. Let's go to Psalms 97 now. Uh, Psalms 97. I'm talking about today, Jehovah Shama. The Lord is there. The Lord is here with us. That says back in the gospel, well, two or three got in money. I'm in the midst of you. I'm in the midst. Psalms 97, verse uh, 5. The mountain will melt like wax as the presence of the Lord. You're going to see God's going to melt the mountains. His presence, my God. The presence of the Lord of the whole earth. God owns the whole earth. He created for his glory. That's what's back in the song. The earth is the Lord and the fullness of all those in the world they're in. God owns each one of us. That's what's back in the book of Ezekiel, the prophet, the great prophet Ezekiel. All souls are mine. Like the soul of the sons and daughters are mine. And the soul that sinners should die. Why they die? Because they, 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 are, they continue committing all kinds of horrible sins. It's like a baby. You're bearing a baby. Look at in James. Before I go back to the scripture, in the book of James, it's a processing. It says in James. What says in James about that? In chapter 1 in James. And for the woman of God out there, the woman of God is listening to me. Uh, chapter 1 in James, starting in verse 12. Blessed is the man of the woman who endures temptation. For when he or she has been proved, he should be received a crown of life, one of the crowns of God. When she, Lord, has promised you those that love him. You see that? You're going to receive a crown. When you endure. Let anyone say, when I am tempted, I am tempted of God. You hear that? God cannot be tempted by evil. The only who tempted is the devil. Not God. God who tempts nobody. It's the devil who tempts people. God tests us. Does not him slow. And nor does him so tempt anyone. Because there's 14 other results. Like when we having a baby. You bury it. Each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desire and tights. And when desire has conceived. See? It gives birth to sin, the monster sin. Look at that. Look at the results of this monster you, you're burying. And sin where it is for, for, for grown, it brings forth death. You die spiritually, you die physically, man. That's just where it puts you the Romans. For the way of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. This is the last verse. Do not be deceived, my beloved brethren. Do not be deceived. Many being deceived, man, saw the churches, but they're not taking heed to God's word. Instead of walking the right way, they're walking the crooked way. And he's lying to them, manipulating them. Don't you know the devil got a voice? Whose voice you listen to? Are you listening to the voice of God, Jehovah Shammah, or the voice of the devil? It's okay. God said so. That's what we told Adam and Eve. God, God, God told them, do not go to that tree. Do not eat it from that fruit. And they did. Their eyes opened, so they were, they, they were naked. Who, got to, who told you was naked, Adam? He found out he from that fruit. And what happened? Fear entered the world. And, and the knowledge of God in Adam was died. It died. Now he had the knowledge of, 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 of the destruction, knowledge of violence. That was the devil's violence, the devil's knowledge. So in heaven started all in heaven. He was Lucifer, the great being, the beautiful being's angel. He was a cherubim, the, the composer of heaven, the worshiper. He was creating beauty and expensive, all these stones in his body, nine stones he had in his chest with pipes. He knew about music, man. He corrupted it. And he used the same, so he used the same corrupt, perfect wisdom. It's corrupted to manipulate men, to manipulate people. That's why we got to get full of the wisdom of God. You got to get full of the fear of the Lord. That's what it says back in Job. Uh, the beginning of wisdom is to fear the Lord. God wants to give you his wisdom. So you can understand. God wants to give you three attributes. Can I go there? Can I take you there, saints? Ephesians chapter one. Paul prayed this prayer for us. Once you got this, nobody could deceive you, man. Because you're walking in the spirit of God and his wisdom, his attributes. Ephesians chapter 1, starting, look at this in verse, and verse 70, Paul prayed a prayer for us. He prayed this for us. That the God, because it says, Paul 16, do not catch you, thanks for you, thanks for you in my prayers. That the God our Father, Lord Jesus Christ, the Father, God, may give you three things, give you the spirit of wisdom, revelation, and knowledge of him. You see, once you have the money, could get you. Look at this here, that your eyes understand, be enlightened. That you may know what is this hope I call you. What are you coming for? What are you doing in church? What you call me a Christian? What is going on? You know, for yourself. What are the riches of his glory and inheritance in the saints? You know, if you're so wise, riches in Christ. What is your inheritance? What is exceedingly greatest power to where who believe we come to his work and his mighty power in us? Mighty power. That's the power of God inside of us, Jehovah Shammah. 
God wants to blow out of you. He wants to come out of you with his new ideas, new things the world doesn't have. He wants to go beyond all these billionaires to show God is the way. He's greater than billion dollars. He's greater than money. For God is money. God is beyond money. He's expensive. The way you can describe the Lord. He created it for his glory. That's what it says back in Colossians. He created those invisible things, invisible, the principality and power. This is in Colossians 1 16. For by all things were created, they are in the heavens, they are in the earth. The invisible will be seen now, and the invisible. Look at the, the different ranks of angels, the thrones, the one we fight every day, thrones, dominion, um, dominion, principality, and powers. All these things are created through him and for him. He is about all things, and him all things consist. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Right in here, baby. It's the guy you serve. What a God we serve, man. He wants to enrich you with his presence. Look at, look at, he wants to give us his knowledge. Look what it says in Colossians, again, in chapter 1, verse 9. Paul, again, Paul pray for us. The reason do we also say that we heard, do not case pray for you, ask that you may get filled with what? Filled with what? Filled with the knowledge of his will. When you got God, God, God's the knowledge of God's will, you know all things. You, 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 know, you know what you're doing. Nobody could sidetrack you and deceive you. We're all, look, we're all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Wow. When it comes to your false teachers, say, wait a minute, that's a lie, devil. I don't receive that. You're just concerned for right from good. It's a doctrine of demons. According to point two to Timothy. Do this. That's what I supposed to say. Many should depart the last day from faith. I said, you said, you're going to depart from faith. Even he's losing spirit. Doctrines of devils, man. Listening to fables instead of the word of God. Having engineers listen to false teachers. Being misinformed, but they're foolish. Look at this. You may work worthy. Look at the purpose. You may work worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing God, not people, fully pleasing Him. Being full of every good work, increase in the knowledge of God. Right. Woo. That's Jehovah Shammah, baby. He wants to fill you, but you got to seek Him in spirit and truth. How far you want to go? Uh, Ephesians chapter 3. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 3. Is your is your is your you the one who activate yourself in the Lord? You came out of the world, you was baptized in the waters, you've been sitting down, you've been disciple, but you're going farther than that, you're going deeper than that. Go beyond the blessings, go into the power realm. Go for your inheritance, seek your inheritance in Jesus Christ. He has given us already the wisdom, the revelation, the knowledge of him. Look at Ephesians chapter 3, verse 12. And to whom we have we have bonus access to confidence through him and faith in him. You see that? You got you got the access to go through God. You have the bonus to go to before God the Father. Ask the Father in the name of Jesus. And God's going to listen to you. This is uh, 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 look at says 13. Therefore, ask that you do not lose your heart. Do not lose heart, guys, in your tribulation for you, which is your glory. The more you go to tribulation, the more you're going to grow. I guarantee you that. No, like they say, no pain, no gain, baby. No pain, no gain. You want to get both of them have a beautiful body? You got to work out in the body and in in inside that spot there, right? The workout mm -hmm. spot. In the gym, something spiritual. You got to work it out, work it out, and you stop developing those, those areas where you're not going nice and strong. God wants you to develop you in the spirit, man. He wants you. Well, the more you go through tribulation, the more you're going to grow. That's why God says it's from glory to him, faith to faith. That's what God says in Romans. If we suffer, we're going to ring with him. But we got a bunch of group of sissies, man. They don't want to go to suffering, brother. In South Church, sissies, they run away from the trials and tribulations. They ain't going away, man. I ain't gonna prove none of that. Each woman in this Bible here, they went to trials and tribulations, man. Only a few sold out, being foolish. Uh, hey, uh, um, Cain, he was a, he was a, uh, he was a phony. He sold out. He was the first murder. Uh, we have uh, Adam himself, a sissy, man. Cain, King Uzziah, you name it, King Saul. A lot of sissies in the Bible. The counselor of the Opelia, the counselor of David. Of Solon came against the rebellion against his father. Uh, King Uzziah wanted to be a, to the priest's office. He was done with leprosy. Uh, we got in the New Testament, one of the apostles, Judah Scott, the traitor, who sold out his apostleship for money, giving the kiss to the Lord with a kiss in his face. Bunch of sisters, see, they don't want to train themselves, stay faithful to their calling. You got to stay faithful to your calling. When you stay faithful, it's going to be trial. That's what I said. We, we, that's what I said. You're going to suffer if you're going to ring with him. You got to part of the package. We got to suffer. Because the more you suffer, the more you're going to grow. The more you're going to have your mind expand in terms of the kingdom of God. You're going to start growing maturity in God. God wants you to grow. 
That's when the people go to boot camp. They go to the Marines or special forces. They're being trained. Have a harsh, hard, harsh, harsh of training to take out the sisters out of here and she to make a woman out of her, a man out of her, a military. That's what's making the book of James. He becomes a soldier in God's army to entangle so with the affairs of life. You'll be recruiting God's army and you're being trained, you're being more, you're being shaped, but you gotta pay a price. You gotta stay faithful to your commander in chief, Holy Ghost. My God, my Lord. Then you're gonna know who's Jehovah Shama, and he's gonna do he's gonna do inside your spirit and manifest you out of your life. Look at this Psalms 27. Uh, Psalms 27, verse 4. One thing I had, of course, but, uh, says here the psalmist. One thing I have desired of the Lord that I will seek. Why seek what? That I may do in the house of the Lord. That I may do in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord and inquire in his temple. Woo! That was the desire of the Lord. I got to be desired to wear in God's presence all your life. Well, if you do go in the wrong side of the park and you go in the tents of the devil out there, you're going to cost you. All they're going to feel is demonic stuff, madness, perversion. Don't forget about it, man. When it happens, those who become a, becoming a man, you want to become a man, you're a woman, you become a woman, you're going to become a man. Doing operations, doing all kinds of drinking all these drugs, making all this perversion stuff, doing all kinds of witchcraft, wanting your shape your spirit to something horrible. That's what the devil wants. God says, No, stay with me. I'm the one who chose you. I'm the one who delivered you. I'm the guy that purpose with you. God said, Those who come to me, no wise, I will cast out. And if the Son of Man set you free, you should be free indeed. Woo. Psalm 16, uh, verse 11. Talking about Jehovah Shammah. God is with us everywhere. Uh, look what it says in 16, Psalm. You should show me the way, path of life, and your presence, fullness of joy. You right hand, I pray for him. I read that. Amen. Amen. Uh, Exodus 33. Write it down. Exodus 33, verse 14 and 15. He said, my presence will be with you. What's it Moses? My presence will go with you. I will give you rest. You see, whenever you stay in God's presence, He's going to give you rest. You got to come before, come before Jehovah Shammah and stay in His presence. We'll give you rest. He also said the beautiful song and the verse here. If I take you there, then it says fifteen. He said to him, "If your presence does not go with me, do not go with us. Do not bring us up to here." Moses, if you don't go with us, Lord, we going nowhere, Lord. Make sure you go with us everywhere we go, at, Lord. God wants to give us rest. That's what it says that verse. Let me go there quickly. I'll find the Lord in Matthew. God wants to give you rest, thanks. He wants to give you rest. But we're not waiting upon the Lord. And when you got a rest, it means you're in trouble. The enemy sick is hurting you. It's, it's doing all kinds of stuff to hurt you. Amen. Amen. Glory, 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 glory. Let me show you the rest. Okay. Hold the rest. Where is it at? Here it is. Look what it says in Matthew chapter 11, saints. Matthew chapter 11, verse, uh, verse 28. Study verse 28. Come to me, all you are laboring, he heavy leaving, and I will give you what? Rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Say, learn of him. Know his will, know his word. For I am gentle, low in heart. You should find rest for your souls. Look at that. For my yoke is easy, my burden is light. That's what he's telling you guys today. Take a yoke upon you, learn of him, learn of the Lord. Look, his yoke is easy, he's burning his light. He's going to give you rest for your soul. And you seek his presence, Jehovah Shama. Mm. What a promise, guys. Seek the Lord. Nobody stop you from seeking your Lord and Savior. It's not a religious walk. I ain't walking. I ain't going to show you no, see no big priest with no big cross, man. Have the to all these saints. Get out of here, man. That's not God. That's not God. God is the spirit. I just read that a little while ago in John. And God's seeking us true worship, worship him in spirit and truth. She can seek true worshipers. My God. Uh, Psalms uh, 73, verse 28. It says Psalm 73, verse 28. It is good for me to draw near to God. It's good for us. You see that? That's what John is saying. The psalmist says that. For me to go to draw near to the Jehovah Shammah. I have put my trust in the Lord that I may declare all his works. 
Second, once you're in God's presence, once you guys raise you up, you send Paul to talk about Jesus Christ. By your Lord and Savior. That's what said Paul to the Romans in chapter 1, verse 16. For not a shame of the gospel of Christ, the power to salvation to the Jews, for the rest of the world, the Gentiles. It's the power to salvation. You should not be ashamed of your Lord and Savior. Why should I be ashamed? You want that shit to blow and rape little women, rape your children, and all kinds of stuff out there? Do not be ashamed of your Lord and Savior. No way. No, no, no. That's the fruit of the devil. Ephesians chapter 2. You know, God's with us everywhere we go at. The word says it. Look what it says in, 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 in Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians chapter 2, um, verse 18. For through him, but look, through him, for we both have access by the Spirit to the Father. It's through Jesus Christ we as we go before the Father Almighty in his presence. That's you got to stay in Jesus Christ. Christ in us, because we pray the beautiful prayer in chapter 17 of John. He said, Father, we could be one. You could be in me, I'll be in you. That could be, it could be us like what I'm going with us. We could be, they could be in us, we could be in them. We could be one. My God. And we go before the Father, God listens to you. Because you belong to God. And so your son is Christ is in you. That's the key to heaven. Jesus Christ. He said, I am the way. I am the door. He gives us those keys. He, what's the keys? Binding and loosing. Let's go there. Who I'm talking to out there, Lord? Who I'm talking to out there? It's for them today, Lord. Uh, Matthew chapter 18. Starting in verse 18. Surely I say to you, wherever you bind on earth should be binding in heaven. Wherever you loose on earth should be loose in heaven. You see how the binding loose it. Where you bind is going to be up and happen up there. Where you bind is going to happen up there. It's going to happen up there. This is it. I guess if you have two, what's it the, the, the power agreement? And again, I said to you, if two of you agree on earth concerning anything, that they act, it should be done on them on my father, which is in heaven. Woo! You agree with my sister, agree with the sister, it's going to happen. Do you see that? Look what says that last verse. For whatever two or three, well, two or three gather in my, together in my name, his presence, Jehovah Shammah, I am there in the midst of them. Woo! What a promise. What a promise. What a promise, my brother and sister. That's why you got to stay focused on the Lord. That's why you got to stay in the Lord. Let me stay one more. And that's it. Look, let's, let's go to Joshua. But he told uh, Joshua before he entered the promised land, he had a battle 31 kings, but he had a, God gave him the command and he gave him the keys. I'm going to start in verse 7 all the way 8 and 9. Look what he told him on Jehovah Shammah. Look what he told him in, in verse, uh, verse 7. Only be strong and courageous that you may observe to go according to all that in the law which most of my servant command you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left that you may prosper wherever you go. You see? Everywhere you're going to prosper. Then this book of the Lord should not have part of thy mouth, but you should meditate day and night. Observe according to all that's written therein. For then you make that way prosper have good success. Woo! That will give you success. Then says the last verse in Hobart Shama. Look at what it says. And I command you today, be strong and good courage. Do not be this afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord that guides me wherever you go. Jehovah Shammah. That's the guy you serve, my brother and sister. He wants to bless you. He wants to pray and sing you for, for his guidance and leading, but he wants to use it for his glory. Each one got an assignment. We got to search that assignment by staying close to the Lord so he could raise us up, so he could mold us, so he could shape us, so he could develop us, so he could transform us for his glory. From glory to faith to faith. Praise the Lord. I'll continue tomorrow. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Once again, the Apostle of the from Medina Light. I'll continue tomorrow. Once closely to teach, finish this book. We're going to talk on Dios. And the Greek means the beginning of the word. Logos. He's the Logos. In the beginning was the Logos. John 1 1. The Gospel of John. In the beginning was the Logos. The Logos was with God. And Dios. Then we're going to talk about that. And Koros means the same thing. The Lord is the, is the Father. The Petra means the Lord Father. And the and the Kortos. And I mean Petra is the one. Is, is a, means, means the Father. We're going to talk on this, I have a father, that's what it means, amen? I think we're going to do that, we're going to do the attributes of the Lord, I mean, we're going to tell the attributes of God. We got attributes. He's given us attributes, amen? He's God the Father, Son of the Holy Spirit, but also he got things to give us. He wants to give us his spirit, according to uh, Isaiah chapter 11, verse 2. He wants to give us the spirit of wisdom, uh, the spirit of strength, seven spirits he wants to give us. Might, revelation, the spirit of uh, counsel, the spirit of chapter 11, uh, Isaiah verse 2. He wants to give us seven spirits in us, but it's attributes called attributes. I have to finish the, almost the things of God. I will enter the abuse of man. So now I'm going to have my, my honey bishop. If you're going to pray, praise the Lord.
to continue blessing the, the gathering. The God will bless more brothers to come out. They could be part of this gathering. They could understand the word of God on the Pentecostal theology. Mm -hmm. Amen. They could learn who they are in Christ and go forth and conquer the world. But the inheritance has been given to each one of them. And useful God's glory. Go ahead. All right. Praise the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Your word is truth. You are Jehovah Shama, the God that is with us, our God of peace, your God, our God of glory, your God, a God that is always there, your God. You're a wonderful God. And I say that you're always there, Lord. You're with us. You say you will never leave us or forsake us. We're the ones that grieve you. We're the ones that leave you. We're the ones that walk away. We're the ones that sin against you, Lord. You're always searching us out like you searched out Adam in the garden, Lord. Help us to walk in your precepts and in your ways. Help those in Zoom to continue to grow in your grace and in your knowledge. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything that you do in our lives. Bless each and every one of the hearers. Bless Brother Asim, Lord God, Sister Amanda, Anira, Father. Bless Brother Raphael, Lord God, in the mighty Lord. name of Jesus. Bless and help each and every one of the brothers and sisters in Zoom. Continue to increase them, continue to bring them, continue to bring them for the glory of your name, that they may continue to grow in your grace and they may walk and the desire of your will, Father. I thank you for the messenger and his message. I pray that you bless him, Lord, and also bless our technician, Lord God. Bless the men and women of God that are working in your ministry, Lord. Thank you so much, Father, to you be all the glory and the honor. Help us, Lord Jesus, to do your will, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So I'm going to do another benediction, amen. Verse each one of you, praise the Lord. Numbers chapter, peace prayer, Numbers chapter 6, verse 24 and 26. Uh, the Lord will bless you and keep you. The Lord makes face shine upon you, be gracious into you. The Lord turns face towards you and give you peace. I'll continue to bless each mother, brother, and sister out there in the audience, Lord. Continue to bless them, Lord. God. Come with your precious blood, your son. I pray the blood to their lives, pray to the soul of their feet, their families. Save them, Father God. I pray the blood to the hand of the word, their possessions, and their, and their influence, Father. Instead of influence us, we influence them, Father God. I pray blood to each thing in the house, the windows, the doors, where the precious blood of Cali was crossed, Lord. Cover them with your blood, Lord. And we'll give you back the praise, Father God. We thank you, Father God. Just pray, son. Amen. As opposed to the Zara Samra, have a great day. Sister uh, Brother Phil, God bless you. God bless you, Sister uh, 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 Sim. God bless you, Brother Sim. Amanda, God bless you. And Sister, uh, what's her name again? Anitra? Anitra, thank you so Anitra. much. Anitra, God bless you. God bless you. I'll see you thank tomorrow. You God, too. Bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. See you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. All right. Have a great day. Be tomorrow, man. Same time. God bless. That's your prayers. See you guys God tomorrow. Bless. God bless. God bless. God bless.